What's up guys, Admiral Stiles here. So this is my second video for today and I'm still featuring the Eclipse class, the Enterprise G. In this particular video we're gonna go up against really hard targets and first up is a Borg battle cube from the early 2370s. I'm pretty confident that we can solo a Borg cube with this thing but we shall see if my confidence is well placed. Let's go for their structural node, why not? Let's see if we can dodge all of these torpedoes until we get to within quantum torpedo optimal range. Okay, one hit, not too bad. Almost there, and here we are. So far we've taken some minor hull damage on the forward quarter. You can see some scorch marks there. Minor hull breach actually. Huh, our aft quantums didn't fire, that's not good. Alright, so a good advantage of the Eclipse class over most Starfleet vessels is the regenerative shields. Like, these shields regenerate so quickly. There we go, the aft quantum's fired. Yeah, our forward shield is already at 94%. 96. 100. So if you can balance the shields well enough, you could probably take the hits from this cube indefinitely. It's all about balancing where the torpedoes hit. And spreading that damage across multiple shield facings. But so far we are causing more damage to the cube than they can regenerate. While we can regenerate our shields pretty decently enough. Alright, the cube status is about 75%, maybe 70%. Okay, I'm going to try to create a little bit of distance before we come about. Just to allow our shields to regenerate on the other facings. Alright, that should be far enough where their torpedoes should miss. But they didn't. I guess they're a lot more accurate than our torpedoes. But that's alright. I suppose I can target their torpedo launchers. I have to use manual targeting. Oh, I think I heard Brex say that main power is offline. Alright, let me just keep turning around so I can target their torpedoes. This should be a good spot. Disengage manual targeting. Somewhere over there. <laughs> Full impulse. It looks like we disable their torpedoes. I believe they fire torpedoes from down here as well. Okay, with their torpedoes gone, we shouldn't have too much to worry about. Alright, we need more war power, so we need to lower the shields back to 100%. Sensors don't matter too much. And... Let's set weapons to 100%. We need to keep the engines at 125 Alright, so that particular phaser or Borg beam doesn't seem to want to get disabled. Can I target that one? Wow, <laughs> it's that easy. Well, it looks like we have disabled all of their weapons facing us. Well, until now, what side is that? 
Oh, why are they turning back in this direction? They should be turning around and firing with the rest of their weapon. I feel like moving. This feels like cheating. Yeah, let's move. Ah, uh, there's some torpedoes. Huh, I didn't think it was possible, but have we run out of quantum torpedoes? A little extra power to the impulse engines might speed things up a bit, sir. Wow, looks like we did run out of quantum torpedoes. Let me see if changing the phaser power at 98% uh, fixes that or changes anything. Yes, it does. Okay. Which side are these emitters on? Okay, so this is the dorsal side of the cube. Okay, board cube is at about 15%. You know, this battle has dragged on longer than I thought it would. I'm very surprised by that. Ah, the Bork have adapted. They're hitting us with so many torpedoes now. Alright, poor cube status about eight percent. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Alright, this is hold position here and keep firing with our uh, those I believe that's six phaser beams hitting them at once. And there she goes. Massive explosion. That's it. We got him. Shields are at 75%. Alright, let's see if we can beat five Klingon Megfars. Let's do multi-targeting. Full power to the phasers. Let's fight. Oh, they rammed us. That doesn't count. We have to restart this. Well, wow, even the uh, chunk of ship that was left was pretty much intact. Alright, let's try that again, hopefully without the ramming speed. I think I heard a cloak. This is not a good time for them to cloak. Alright, looks like they have their advanced photon torpedoes loaded up. Our target has lost its shield generator. It's pretty much disabled at this point. Okay, next one. It feels like I'm hitting them with phaser drills. Ah, it feels like a warp core took a lot of damage. Okay, two Negvars down. Okay, 
shield has failed. We've lost armor on the port and starboard and possibly ventral. Ah, oh, here we have the god mode deck far. It has no shield damage somehow. Reminds me of that kid in school that never did anything but somehow got straight A's. <laughs> Ah, now that was a satisfying fight. Alright guys, that'd be it for this video. I'm Admiral Styles, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you on the next one. Admiral Styles out.